more of a relaxed position. And just kind of let the arm swing, keep it loose. And kind of let, try to feel the all that tense and tightness that you just built kind of drain down through the arm. Okay, guys, Coach Josh here is on pitching it up. Today we're going over some arm recovery drills we can do with just weighted balls. So you get done pitching, you gotta play another game later in the day. You play outfield also. Just some stuff to do after you get done on the mound to kind of help wear, or cool the arm down and get let it start to repair for your, either your next game or eventually your next outing. We're gonna be on a knee with the chest up. You're gonna do a throwing arm. So think pitching the shoulders together. Loading your scats back, keeping the elbow in line with your shoulder, and just working on ball flips. So just toss the ball up, catch, and just going on the brakes, letting the arm stabilize to, uh, to catch the ball. You're just gonna work back and forth. Yep. Making sure to keep the elbow up and in line with the shoulder. You see a lot of guys catching and dropping it down. Kind of defeats the purpose on re-strengthening the back of the shoulder. Allowing you to work the accelerator muscles to Great blood flow and allow those to start to repair. Next, we'll go into a split stance here. And we're just gonna work the arm up, back, hinging the shoulders together, and then let the arm work back out. From there, gonna work the arm down, out, reach, back down, back up. And if you have two balls, kind of go into the shoulder routine. Uh, this also works for all dumbbells. You got like a three pound dumbbell, or a couple two pound dumbbells. We're gonna work front raises. Up. Right. Same idea, we're gonna pinch the shoulders back, keep the chest up. Then you work out to the side. Thumbs down, working out to a Y. Juggles, same thing, shoulders back, elbows in line with the shoulders. Down, back up. From there, I'm gonna get into a athletic stance in the legs, right outside the shoulders, sit down in the hips. Then at the waist, keeping the back flat, working your arms out, so it flies. The whole idea is keeping a slow, controlled pace, allowing the shoulders to work, not trying to just overdo and go real fast, letting momentum take over there. From that point, we're gonna stay in the same position, pull up, reach back up, pinching the shoulders up and back. And then you come back up, we're gonna work up, this side, down. By the time you get through all that there, your shoulders should be pretty, um, feel pretty tight, pretty tired. It's a good thing. Allow the blood to blood flow to kick in, and then it'll let it relax back out. One thing I like to do is go into more of a relaxed position, and just kind of let the arm swing, keep it loose. And kind of let, try to feel the all that tense and tightness that you just built kind of drain down through the arm. Clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth, up and down. And that's it. After all that, sit, relax for a little bit. About an hour or so, you should feel like you're ready to pitch a whole other game. More tips and videos, click the subscribe button. Until then, see you guys next time.